this week my guest is Mr. Sebastian Lanza. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thanks for being here. <laughs> so, all right, we got a lot of stuff planned. Thank you all for your questions. Already prepared them. We are ready and good to go. So, the first thing, the first topic we would like to cover today is foot technique. We're talking about, mm -hmm. we're gonna talk about the swivel technique today. Okay? Perfect. Yeah. Uh, I, I use this kind of technique like Karim got me into actually using swivel foot technique. I found it really inspiring mm -hmm. watching him. So I got in, like it's, it's about six years ago. Six, when about you started. When I started, out, kind of. you, you practiced this technique. And, and the breakthrough uh, was this year. Um, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, um, breakthrough by b breakthrough, um, you mean probably using higher tempos. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I can, yeah. Uh, I can um, use the swivel foot technique up to 270, not mm -hmm. really clean, but it's possible mm -hmm. using it. So I, I couldn't think of it mm -hmm. uh, the year before mm -hmm. doing that. But all came literally by um, pra practicing with a mirror, being clear about how the movement really works, um, try to, to do the same. Um, on both feet and um, by you know take it slow so I what the, the um, I, I made the um, decision to go really slow by slow I mean 200 BPM um, mm -hmm. so the kind of how I approach the swivel technique um, is not commonly used in this tempo region mm -hmm. so um, it's really hard to, uh, or it can be really hard to um, use the swivel foot technique at 200 BPM. So I made some little workouts uh, at this tempo region, 200 BPM, 210 BPM, and it uh, increased my uh, control and power in the feet immensely. It's not an endurance routine, mm -hmm. so um, yeah. I I try to stop at the point where I cramp up, or <laughs> okay, where okay. Um, you know I I don't. Um, of course, I do push days, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, like where I want to um, see if I if I can get faster, um, mm -hmm. but um, it's a routine, so I do it every day. But let's say for when I uh, started working on my finger control technique. Mm -hmm. There's two things I uh, worked on. Uh, actually, it's the fulcrum point uh, where I hold the stick between my thumb and uh, index finger. Mm -hmm. And um, the first thing actually would be to um, to look where where is the sweet spot of my drumstick. So where's the point where it bounces the most? Mm -hmm. um, I use a stick. It's So it's middle finger, ring finger, 